ET for the Atari 2600. I've been putting off doing this review for quite a while because I know a lot of people think this game is utter dog shit. However, I'm a bit on the fence about it because it's not complete dog shit. In fact, I don't even think it's dog shit. I actually don't mind ET, the video game. What it is, is basically a game that came out and nobody knew how to play it because it's it's different from what it's not like your standard arcade game you literally have to collect all the pieces of the telephone whilst negating the effects of the scientist and the fbi guy um collecting reese's pieces finding Elliot, get the last piece of the telephone head to the forest and then go home that's literally it it's not like about a, well it is about a high school you can see that in the bottom of my playthrough screen but this game gets a bad rap for not actually being the, the like the worst game ever, and everyone's always like, "Oh, but there's the pit falling glitch." It's not a pit falling glitch. You have to get off the pit properly before you drop back down to the floor. It's as simple as that. So, in hindsight, it was quite a breakthrough game at the time because it did change up the standard video game formula, what everyone was used to used to at the time, which I think is why people are a bit meh with it now. But I don't necessarily think it's a bad game. I do play it, yes. Do I think it's a good game? It's not a good game. If I had to sum it up, it is a very, I'd say, boring game, if I'm honest. It's not like fun like Pac-Man or Space Invaders or some, something to that effect anyway. But would I recommend you buy E.T. for the Atari 2600? Um, I'm going to say yes for the sake of what it is. It's like the most notorious video game in history. So own it in that respect. Would I recommend that you spend a fortune to get it? No, I would not. If you can get it cheap, pick it up. If you can't, well... Find an emulator online. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong?